Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 15th of August, the feast day of Mary, Mother of our Lord. The reading, Christine de Pizan, P-I-Z-A-N, 1363-1431. There Adam slept, and God formed the body of woman from one of his ribs, signifying that she should stand at his side as a companion and never lie at his feet like a slave, and also that he should love her as his own flesh. I don't know if you have already noted this, she was created in the image of God. How can any mouth dare to slander the vessel which bears such a noble imprint? God created the soul and placed wholly similar souls, equally good and noble in the feminine and the masculine bodies. Woman was made by the supreme craftsman. In what place was she created? In the terrestrial paradise? From what substance? Was it vile matter? No, it was the noblest substance which had ever been created. It was from the body of man whom which God made woman. And if anyone say that man was banished because of Lady Eve, I tell you, he has gained more through Mary than he lost through Eve when humanity was co-joined to the Godhead, which would never have taken place if Eve's misdeed had not occurred. Thus, man and woman should be glad for this sin through which such an honor has come about. For as low as human nature fell through this creature, woman was human nature lifted higher by this same creature. A Bible Commentary in the Defense of Women, the Book of the City of Ladies, 1405. The Prayer, Robert E. Spear, 1867-1947. O God, our Father, we thank Thee that Thine only begotten Son took our nature upon Him and was born of a virgin, that He grew up under a mother's loving care and that on his cross he made sure of a home for her with his dearest friend. We thank thee for his constant tenderness toward all women and for his first meeting on the resurrection morning. We thank thee for his influence through all the centuries in protecting women from wrong, in securing justice and equality in opening the paths of service. And we thank thee for the faith and devotion with which women in all ages and all lands have answered thy love in him and in fidelity and sacrifice fulfill thy will. Whenever they still suffer injustice and wrong, we pray thee to deliver them. Whenever their power is wasted on inferior ends, we call them to great mission. Help them as they mold the future in the child life that is in their care, to believe in the possibility of thy kingdom and to train for its citizenship that which thou hast entrusted to them in the name of thy holy child, Jesus. Amen.